Hi everyone, welcome to ET Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn about Microsoft Word 2010 components. In very easy step, it has been explained. Let's start. We will select File Tab. This is our first component. The file tab replaces the office button from Word 2007. You can click it to check the backstage view. This is where you come when you need to open a new file. Yeah. or save files or create a new document or print a document and do other related uh, other file document related operations this is all about the file time this was our first component let's move to the second component a second component is quick access toolbar. The quick access toolbar just above the file tab. This is a convenient resting place for the most frequently used com commands in the world. You can customize this toolbar based on your comfort. Remember, quick access toolbar contains the features which are frequently used so let's move to the next ribbon let me drop down this you can see here on the screen I just highlighted Ribbon contains command organized in three components tabs, groups, and commands. These are the tabs, these are the groups, in, in and under the groups, the commands are available. Tabs these appear across the top of the ribbon and contain groups related commands. Home, insert, page layout are the examples. References, mailings, review, view, acrobat. Groups they organize related commands. Each group name appears below the group on the ribbon. For example, group of commands related to fonts or group of commands related to alignment. Commands appear within each group as mentioned above we'll move to the next command component title bar this lies in the middle and at the top of the window title bar shows the program and document titles as of now i have not saved or i have not given any title for the document so let's move to the next component ruler word has two rulers one is horizontal ruler and a vertical ruler the horizontal ruler appears just beneath the ribbon and it is used to set margins and tab stops you can see the tab stops The vertical ruler appears on the left edge of the window 
and is used to gauge the vertical positions of elements on the page. Vertical position of elements on the page. Yes, this is all about the rulers. So we'll move to the next component. Help. The help icon can be used to get word related help anytime you like. This provides nice tutorial on various subjects related to word. Anytime if you want any help you can just click on that. Right now I am not going to show in detail. So we will move to the next component that is zoom control it is also called as zoom slider bar zoom controls the zoom slider bar let you zoom in for a closer look at your text the zoom cons control consists of a slider that you can slide left or right to zoom in or out you can click the plus buttons to increase or decrease the zoom factor let's see how it works first we'll zoom in you can see on the screen the page is getting zoom in I am just clicking on the plus sign. It depends upon your clicks. How many clicks you will click on the plus sign? That the level it will increase. Now I am going to decrease it by clicking on the minus sign on the zoom slider. You can see on the screen it is getting zoom out. If you have more than two to three pages, when you zoom out, you will be able to see all the pages easily. But right now I have only one page in my document, so you will be able to see only one page. Yeah. That's all about the zoom slider or zoom control. So we'll move to the next component uh, that is view buttons. So back to normal now. Let's move to the view buttons. The group of five buttons located to the left of the zoom control. Or zoom slider bar near the bottom of the screen lets you uh, switch through the words various document views there are five views first is print layout view second is full screen reading view web layout view outline view and the draft view now you are watching web layout view next is outline view and the last one is draft view These are the five views available in the view buttons. So we'll back to the normal view. The next component is document area. This is the area where you 
see we call that uh, blinking line as a cursor by default it is available in the working area it is also called as flashing vertical bar where we consider it as an insertion point on the document as you can see I am typing components of MS Word 2010 you can do a number of settings use different commands under the groups this is a working area it is also called as document area next component is status bar status bar displays the document information as well as the insertion point location from let left to right this bar contains the total number of pages and words in the document language etc you can configure the status bar by right clicking anywhere on it and by selecting or deselecting options from the provided list as you can see on the screen you can select or deselect the options so this is called as status bar so next is dialogs box launcher this appears as very small arrow in the lower right corner of many groups on the ribbon Clicking this button opens a dialog box or tasks pane that provides more options about the group. Once we click on that, the dialog box will appear. You can see on the screen or it is also called as a task pane which provides more options about the group. Yes, and that's all. These were the components of MS Word to Content.